Hey, what's up? This is Danny from Plug and Play. Today, I got a really awesome tutorial for you guys about data moshing pictures. Now, we've seen a lot of different videos out there about how you can data mosh videos and some of those effects, but I have a freaking crazy process that is going to yield some wild results. So stay tuned, it's gonna get glitchy. All right, so this one should be pretty short, but it's gonna leave a lot of room for experimentation. So let's start in your favorite web browser and let's find a awesome picture to glitch. I guess we're gonna be sticking with Donald Trump because that seems to be a theme that we're running with. So I like this one right here. Um, try to make sure that the background is an alpha and if it isn't, you can take it into Photoshop and edit that out. Um, so uh, you can either save it to a file destination path or you can copy the image and use our copy pasta tool here. All right, now that we have our picture inserted into After Effects, let's make a new composition from that picture. Now let's set the scale to be 100% to start with. And then at about two seconds, let's set it to be 105%. And then at four seconds, let's set it up to be back down to 100%. We'll make that the end of our workspace. And then we're gonna go into data mosh. Let's set the interval to be five. Let's set the duration to be five. And then let's data mosh it. All right, now that we have that data mosh video inside of After Effects, let's go to the end of that layer. And what we're going to do is set this transfer mode to be uh, difference. And now let's make a new adjustment layer. And let's search for the effect curves. And let's add curves onto there. Now what we're going to do is crank this guy up like super far. And then also let's add a, an effect called hue and saturation. And let's crank up that saturation, some of the lightness too. Now let's go and take this original picture that was scaling at the bottom here. Let's duplicate that. And let's bring it to the top and let's set this to be overlay. So this is where the experimentation really comes into factor. You can play with all these different blending modes here. You can add different effects and just see exactly how far you can get with whatever you want, basically. Um, but the main concept here is that we are taking this broken down um, render data mosh video of this picture from scaling and it's, it's enhancing all these different artifacts that are broken and it's comparing them to the original image. And so wherever the difference is in pixels, it's going to highlight those and really accentuate the glitchiness. So we can continue down this path. Maybe we want to pre-comp all of this and run the same effect of scale on this one and then data mosh that. So let's do that. Back down to 100. And then we'll run it through data mosh again with the same settings. Force re render, hit data mosh. And look at that. You can already see how crazy this effect is going to be. And, you know, we are just looking for stills at the end of this. But if you want to go ahead and make different video renders of the progression of the glitchiness, it's literally the sky's the limit with this type of stuff. All right, so our data mosh video is back imported here. This is the second time we've data moshed this clip. And now you can see stuff is starting to get out of control maybe a little bit. So let's go into this pre-comp again and grab the original image. We'll go back into the outer layer, paste it. And now what we're going to do is set this mode to be stencil alpha, yes. So basically what this means is that anything under this image is only going to show up where that image is. So now it's going to conform a lot more to the original Donald Trump shape. Um, now we can do an overlay on this and get some of his original character back into this picture. Uh, we can do play around more with this. We can do exclusion again. Um, all these different bunny modes are going to yield crazy different results. And like I said, we're just looking for stills, but if you want to go ahead and render out like a full video progression of the glitchiness it's super cool 
I will say with all these different effects, it does become a little hardware intensive. But like, look at that. It's crazy how much like all these pixels are uh, determining exactly what is the end result. And the way that we get all these different artifacts in here is because we went and data moshed the original clip and then the subsequent clip uh, and highlighted those different artifacts and really brought them to life here. So um, I mentioned it before, but sky's the limit here, guys. Just keep on experimenting. See what you can come up with. I mean, there's all types of really cool stuff. Um, whatever you do make, please share with us at datamosh underscore AE on Instagram, and we would love to repost it. So I hope you guys all have a great day and kind of see exactly how far you can experiment with this um, pixel glitch stuff, and uh, specifically with uh, with pictures, because I feel like a lot of data moshing uh, right now is about video, but there's opportunity to bring it to this other medium, and I think that's super cool. Like, I mean, look at this stuff. You couldn't get that. I mean, it would take forever to manually make that, but with data mosh, uh, we have all these artifacts, and if we play with the right blending modes and put the right effects on there, we can really accentuate them. Anyways, take care, guys.